Hey guys, John Rettinger here with an unboxing for you of the HTC Hero for Sprint service. This is undoubtedly one of the hottest phones of the holiday shopping season and I'm looking forward to taking a look at it. Last time we saw the Hero, we saw its GSM cousin and a little bit of a different shell with a bigger chin and of course it wasn't to have release on any US carrier so it didn't have any sort of US 3G so it was very difficult to take advantage of all the features the phone offered. So I'm very excited to see how all those features sort of combine uh, into one offering that Sprint is putting out. This is going to run you $179 on a two-year contract uh, after a rebate. Let's go ahead and dig into the package. Of course, we'll use the big old knife to do this. Again, we'll try and not shave off a finger too here. Okay. We got the package open. Let's see what comes in the box. Got some uh, some press materials. Push that off to the side, and here is the box itself. All right. We got charge battery first, but hopefully there'll be enough to demonstrate at least it turning on. So you got a picture of the device on the front next to a very small woman or a very large phone, depending on how you want to look at it. It's got a very different design than what we last saw, so I'm curious how this is going to look. I have not seen one of these yet in person. Uh, typical Sprint box, information on the side, the Now Network with their branding, and picture of the device and some features on the back. But let's go ahead and take a look, and this is of course running again the Sense UI, HTC's own overlay on top of Android. This is not running Android 2.0, but it's not necessarily that big of a deal since it's got a completely new skin on top of it, although HTC has said they will upgrade this to 2.0. Let's go ahead and dig in and see what we get in the box. Opens up in typical Sprint fashion from the front. So there is the phone itself. Push it off to the side for just one moment. We'll see what else we get in the box. Not too much. You get your wall charger. I believe that just flips out and your USB-C cable, which also connects to the wall charger. It looks like that uses a mini USB. And you've got a substantial getting started guide with Sprint's phone recycling envelope if you want to send back your old device. But that's not why you guys are here. It's not why I'm here either. Let's take a look at the Hero itself. And we'll do a real quick size comparison to some other devices you guys may have seen. And we'll turn it on. Um, I've done some walkthrough of the Sense UI in the past, but I'm going to do it again to show you how it works on a 3G network and all the uh, tweaks that sort of Sprint made to it. There's been several firmware upgrades since I last saw a Sense UI device, so I'm very curious again to how this is all going to come together in the package. So here it is with the iPhone 3GS, and here it is with the BlackBerry Storm 2, two slab devices. And sort of just get a sort of a size comparison. Sort of stack all three for you so you can see the thickness of it. Very easily pocketable. So initial feel, the build quality seems to be very nice and substantial. The phone weighs enough without feeling heavy and just enough to not feel cheap. It's got a very nice feel to it. It's got sort of that soft touch rubber in the back which I like a lot and a 5 megapixel sensor on the back. You've got a speaker grill and your mini USB. You've got on the left side your volume rockers. On the right, not much. On the top, your 3.5 millimeter headset jack. On the front of the device, you've got your typical array of Android keys. You've got your menu key, you've got your search key, your home key, your back key, there's your microphone, and of course your send and end key, which also doubles as a power key. So I think this is probably not going to have much of a charge in it, but let's turn it on and at least see if we can take a quick look. And you also have some LED indicators across the top, and there is your main speaker. To get the HTC branding, you'll probably get the little Android guy, guy that'll pop up, and uh, the Sprint splash screen.
well, that little Android guy, guy that pops out. All right, so here we are. This is the unlock screen for the Sense UI. Simply take this and slide it down. It'll probably take a second to recognize the network since this, I'm guessing this hasn't been turned on in quite a bit. And the battery is definitely in need of a charge. And I've got a pretty strong EVDO Rev A, so pretty nice 3G signal here. So it'll be good for testing purposes. And here we are. This is the Sense UI. Now, unlike typical Android, instead of having just three home screens, you actually have five, and you can sort of see that bar across the bottom move. You're also seeing a lot of these HTC widgets that are already in place here. So I'll go to a blank home screen, and I'll show you real quickly some of the widgets that you can add. Looks like also you've got your standard array of Sprint features, and we'll go through all this in later videos. But we've got your Sprint Navigation and NASCAR. So we can tap to add. And through the Android widgets you've probably seen before, but again, I'll show you those in a later video. But the ones you might not be familiar with are the HTC widgets. Let's go ahead and open those up and see what you get. Bookmarks, calendar, clock, footprints, which I'll walk you through. Messages, music, people, photo album. I'll let you guys read the rest. Uh, there are quite a bit here to choose from. So Sense UI really offers a lot right out of the box and definitely a lot of customization options. So I'm going to run this through the test, uh, run it through the paces and put it through a ton of tests and we'll see how it stacks up. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoy, and definitely stay tuned for a ton of hero coverage coming up. Hope you all enjoy, and for exclusive content, check me out at Twitter, twitter.com slash john 4 lakers And for all your tech needs, check out technobuffalo.com, where you can make your own site, monetize it, and interact with friends in our new social network. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.